Hi everyone, how are you? It's Dr. Emily here for another super exciting brain hack little uh, in service or live Instagram live Facebook live so I'm going to be going over two new ways that you can stimulate your brain increase blood flow and keep you young can you guess what those are have not been discussed yet first one is nostalgia so using nostalgia and thinking about reminiscing on nostalgic moments can actually increase circulation to the brain there were interesting studies that were done that showed that those who had increased nostalgic memories and reflected back at times of of happiness and created this deep emotional response actually had increased circulation to the reward centers of the brain now they also said that there was increased happiness Increase socialization around those who had enhanced nostalgic memories and effects. And what was interesting is that when you have nostalgic memories and you associate it with music, you actually had higher brain stimulation in the rewards center. So as we age, if you want to keep that brain young and sharp and with high blood circulation and filled with happiness, Try to reflect back on some nostalgic memories. Now, there's some ways that you can enhance the effect of nostalgia by building it into a healthy lifestyle. So these are some of the tips. So you can take a memory walk, which means when you're lying down before you go to bed, just sit and reflect on some of your happiest memories. I love to do this around my wedding because it brings so many happy memories and this deep emotional satisfaction around when I married my husband. So thinking of that, when you're having this little memory walk, think about and really see the colors of that memory. Hear the sounds, do you smell anything? The more senses that you bring in through this nostalgic experience, you will actually get increased reward center stimulation. Another tip that you can do is integrating the music that creates the nostalgic effect. For me, one of those is Sade. So I love to play Sade because it always stimulates sweet memories of when I first moved to New York and when I would do all of my studying and just kind of stimulates that response within my brain. Another one is to have pictures or postcards or little trinkets or whatever it is from trips that you've done, from your childhood, from friendships, and actually Print them out or put them around your home or your apartment so as you go throughout your day and you come home at the end of the day and you see these little mementos or these pictures, it'll create that nostalgic response. So having your home filled with things that will trigger that nostalgic memory. Or if you have picture frames and you print them, I know everything is so tech-based now, but there's something about having photo albums and reflecting back through these nostalgic effects. So, that is your first one. Second one is boredom. So bringing boredom back into your lifestyle will actually stimulate the brain. They have actually seen that those who have increased periods of boredom actually had more lateral thinking. And they actually called it more divergent thinking styles. So people who are thinking outside of the box. Now, this is often associated with flow. So when you look at studies that look at boredom and what it does to creativity and to the brain, what they would have the subjects do is do something that is repetitive something like copy numbers you're just repeating numbers taking numbers from one sheet and copying it on the other and when they were doing that technically they were getting into flow and they started getting some lateral thinking so when you have this period of boredom you are stimulating new areas of the brain which is helping you to think outside of the box. Now, this is something that we strongly encourage for our children and getting our children to be bored. That is something that I think is underappreciated in this tech-driven world, but thinking about what it could do to our children's creativity and lateral thinking. Now, for ourselves, some ideas of how you can bring boredom back into your brain health program is 
Next time you take a walk, if you're walking the dog, you're coming home from work, you're walking from work, put your phone away and just do the walk. Take the walk and just think and take in the sights and don't, don't be tied down by the phone, but allow your mind to drift and have those moments of silence and perhaps some of that lateral thinking. Another thought is when you are taking the train, anytime you're doing some sort of task, if you are cooking, if you are doing the dishes, if you're doing the laundry, is there a way that you can do the laundry, clean the house, vacuum, etc., and not necessarily have to have music in your, your headphones or have to be listening to a podcast, have that moment of boredom. If you can build that into your weekly routine, it will help to enhance the way that your brain, brain creates lateral thinking and this divergent thought process. So your two tips for today to enhance brain longevity and brain health. First, nostalgic memories. Bring those into your lifestyle. Second is boredom. Bring that into your lifestyle as well. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you integrate. Stay barefoot strong and I'll talk to you soon.